Yo, what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. I am making this video today with some huge news personally for me, like big time news. I wanted to make some videos about it, like leading up to it, but didn't really have the chance. So big news and that news is I moved. So yes, you heard that right. I said that I moved. And the exciting part about that is that I actually bought a house. But even more crazy than that is where I bought a house. So I actually, some, as some of you may or may not know, I ended up moving out of California. So I am no longer in the Sacramento area, no longer in California. So where did I move to? Well, I moved to Texas. And yes, like every other Californian that has moved out of the state, I chose to go to Texas as well. I'm actually located in Houston, Texas. So I'll get into the details of why I chose Texas and what made me make this move a little bit later. But I just wanted to show you guys the house because I bought some land and it's a pretty big piece of land. And so I wanted to kind of give you guys a tour of the new house and kind of tell you guys what the plans are that I have with the house. So that's the house. And then you move along over here and that is the entire front yard. So why did I choose to move to Houston, Texas? Well, to put it simply, I knew that if I tried to stay in California and if I ever wanted to afford a house, A, I probably wouldn't be able to afford one, and B, I would never be able to get the land that I wanted. I obviously, you guys, as you guys know, I work with animals. I like, I love having animals and I wanna give my animals the best life I possibly can. And I wouldn't be able to do that with just, you know, a house like in the suburbs. I wanted a house with land. I wanted to be able to get things like goats and, and build some outdoor enclosures for some of my reptiles. And I wouldn't have been able to do that if I stayed in California. You know, maybe I would have, but it wouldn't be for probably a really long time because prices are crazy out there. So I decided to buy this house. I chose Houston because of the climate, because it's a little bit warmer. I'm gonna walk you guys over to the backyard because this is where most of the land is located. And I am just, I am just so excited about it, you guys. So over here, we have the entire backyard. Now I'm gonna walk you guys to the end of the property but I just want to show you guys this temporary tortoise setup that I got going on. So this is a dog kennel, an outdoor dog kennel right here. And I'm just keeping the sulcatas in there for the time being until I can build them their pen. I am going to Vegas this weekend and then I plan on building them their pen when I get back. But in the meantime, they're chilling out here. They'll get to be outside. Like I said, it is going to be getting a little bit cold, so I might have to bring them inside. But look at this. Just a beautiful piece of property. Guys, I am so, so, so excited about this. I mean, I'm going to, it's going to be great. And I've been alluding to like, you know, big things were about to be happening and big things were coming. This was the big thing, you know, these, this, this move was the big thing that I was alluded to, alluding to. And I wanted to make videos leading up to this and kind of, you know, drop some more hints and, and kind of let you guys know what the plans were. I just didn't have the time. This move was crazy. You know, it's like a 30 hour drive to get here. And um, I just had a lot of things to do, so I couldn't, but yeah, you guys. So what's the plan? What's next? Well, as you guys know, I watch a lot of reptile YouTubers and most of them are located in 
a place like, you know, like Florida, where it's like the perfect climate to keep your reptiles outdoors. Well, Houston's not too bad for that either. The climate here is, is, is pretty good for the most, for most of the year for, to be able to put reptiles outside and build enclosures for them. December, January, even parts of February, I'd probably have to bring them in. But the ultimate goal is to build outdoor enclosures like you see all over YouTube with, within the reptile YouTube world. Build some outdoor enclosures here for some reptiles. Give them a lot of enrichment, give them a lot of space, and really give my reptiles the best life that I possibly can. So that's the goal, that's why I bought all this land. This is four and a half acres, you guys. So I got four and a half acres of land here. As you can see, we've been walking, the house is back there, and we still got some land to go. So, really, really excited. I do plan on getting some other animals, maybe some livestock, like some goats, um, and just some other cool animals. So stay tuned for that. I, I, I cannot wait. I got so many things running through my mind, so many ideas. The tortoises are going to have a huge pen. That will probably be one of the next videos that I put out. I'll put the pen out somewhere over there. It's going to be a huge pen. They're going to have a lot of space. And then eventually, I also want to have, I also want to put in a pond, some sort of like aquascape type pond, like kind of like how Camp Cannon has his. I, I love that pond. I would love to have a pond like that. So that is the goal. I mean, but with this amount of land, the possibilities are endless. And so that's why I did this because eventually I want to start up my own exotic animal sanctuary, exotic animal rescue. And so obviously I would need a good chunk of land to be able to do that. And I think that I got it. So I am just super, super, super excited. And for those of you who may wonder, no, I didn't make this move out of California to Texas for any political reasons or anything like that. I'm honestly not someone who really gets into politics that deeply. Um, I kind of just kind of focus more on myself, my family, my animals. So politics didn't really play a role in this other than the fact that it's a lot cheaper to buy a house here in Texas than it is in California. So we are getting here towards the end of the property. As you guys can see, that is like the end. And the house is way back there, if you can see it. Now, in my opinion, Houston's climate is a little bit more well-suited for reptiles. Houston's climate is a subtropical climate, whereas California's is a temperate climate. And when it comes to subtropical climates, that just means that it is a high humidity. So in the summer, I came here in July to visit, and I mean, man, it is humid as hell. It's like Florida humid. It's crazy. That's one thing that I'm going to have to get used to because we didn't get that in Cali. We didn't get that humidity in Cali, but here in Houston, the humidity is no joke. Now, the humidity for most of my reptiles, especially the ones who I plan on putting outdoors or the ones that I plan on getting to put outdoors, that's gonna be great for them in the spring, the summer, and the fall. But for me, as a person, <sighs> Ooh, that's something I gotta get used to. But yeah, I'm just overwhelmed with emotion, with excitement. I can't wait to see what is in store next here. I can't wait for you guys to see what I have in store for here next. I just wanna help animals any way I can. And whether that's my own animals, or whether that's by rescuing other animals, that's what I wanna do. And so that was the point of me doing this was so that I would have the opportunity and the ability to be able to do that. So I cannot wait for to see all of this come to fruition. You know, it's a, it's a dream come true being out here. I never thought in a million years that I would ever move out of California, uh, away from my family, away from my friends, um, everybody, but it just happened and I couldn't be happier. And there's definitely just, no regrets on my end. Now, ask me in a couple years after I've gone through a hurricane or two, if I regret it, and I may have a different answer. But for now, <laughs> I have no regrets at all. I mean, look at this, it's just, it's beautiful out here.
and it's green. I mean, it's green out here. You don't get that in California either. Everything's brown and dried up and dead. No, it's raining here. It's 80 degrees and it rains. I'm not really gonna show you guys much of the inside of the house because it's a mess right now. Uh, there's tools laying around everywhere. There's, you know, just, it's not put together. So the wall still needs to be painted and things like that. Um, but I did want to take you guys into the future reptile room, show you guys all uh, the reptiles that are in there. Let you guys, give you guys some updates on some of the reptiles that I have in there. Um, I still don't have the cages for the reptiles still hasn't arrived yet. So they're still sitting in their damn travel buckets. Uh, hopefully those cages will get here within the next couple of days. That's what the movers told me. So let's hope that that happens so that they don't have to sit in there any longer. But yeah, you guys, it's a, it's an exciting experience. I, I've never moved this far away from home before. So I kind of took a leap of faith with this one um, and purchase a home, but I think it was the right thing to do. And I've been waiting for this moment for years. I don't know if you guys remember, but when I first got my sulcata tortoises, I put them at my dad's house. And I think I'm in the video that I made, I told you guys that I'm supposed to be moving within like six months or a year. Well, that video was two years ago. So a lot of things have happened and I've run into a lot of roadblocks on this kind of journey of trying to find a house. And I looked, I looked in California too. I would, if I, if I would have found a house that I could afford with the land in California, I would have stayed, but I couldn't. So I decided to get out of there. There was nothing really holding me or keeping me there. So I decided to move on. But that was a long time ago when I was talking about initially moving and now to finally be here today on my property, four and a half acres. I couldn't ask for anything better than that. So I'm super excited, but we're getting back to the house right now. So let me take you inside, show you guys the reptiles and give you guys some updates. Hi buddy. But I'm glad to have these guys with me full time now. I don't have to drive 30 minutes to go see them and to go take care of them. We got them full time now. Now, I seen in a lot of videos, you guys are asking me about the pyramiding on their shells. What you guys have to realize is that I got these guys when they were about five or six years old. The pyramiding was already there. So once pyramiding starts, there's nothing you can really do to prevent that. It's just there. The only thing that you can do is to keep it from pyramiding even more. So that's what I've been trying to do. But I know a lot of you were concerned about the pyramiding on their shells. Um, and that's usually from an improper diet when they were babies and things like that. Um, but they already had it. If you look, go back and look at the videos when I first initially got them, it was already starting to develop back then. So there's no way you can reverse it at that point. But super excited to have these guys back with me. Cheech over there, Chong right here. And to get to see them every day and to really interact with them and give them the care that I need to give them. So now we're inside the house. And so I got to give you guys a little update on the kitty, Dash. She's been doing great. She's still scared to come out of the laundry room though, but with due time, we'll be able to get her out. But I haven't put her on a video in a long time. So I thought you guys needed to see her. She's been, she's been great. She's been doing amazing. And then of course there's Anzu. And I feel really bad because she's been stuck in her dang carry case since we left California. And I mean, obviously I've taken her out, but her cage isn't here yet. And so she's had to sleep and spend a lot of time in her carry case. So whenever I have a chance, I take her out, give her some exercise, but I just hope her cage gets here soon. Her cage is coming with all the reptile cages. We'll come in here. And you see all the reptiles 
are in these cages. I feel bad for them all being in containers like that, but like I said, the movers haven't brought their cages yet, so they're just I, I just have to make do for the time being, knowing that it's gonna be a short-term thing. Just gotta make do until the movers get here and then I can finally put them in their cages. But all of them are doing well. I'll show you guys Legolas. Oh. Legolas was the only one who's escaped so far. He, I found him this morning. He was out slithering around in the room, of course. But he escaped, I don't know how. I'll just give you guys some updates. There's Penny. I'll make sure I got this heater in here to keep them warm. It's easily like 81 degrees in here. You can see I'm already sweating. I'm spraying in each of their containers to keep them, keep them hydrated. There's Deadpool the Tegu. Hey buddy. He wants to come out. I can take him out a couple times so he can stretch his legs. But yeah, everybody, everybody's been doing good. Okay, my camera died mid-sentence, so I don't even know where I was at. But anyways, these GoPro cameras, their, their batteries are horrible. They are so bad. They die so quickly. But anyways, yeah guys, so I brought all the animals with me. I'm still learning about Texas laws when it comes to snakes and lizards and things like that. So if there's any permits that I need to get, then I'll get them. But for the meantime, just waiting on these cages. Hopefully we'll get them soon so that these guys can be comfortable and they're not cooped up in these, you know, containers for much longer. Especially like the lizards. I feel really bad for the lizards, like the tegu and the iguana, because lizards, you know, lizards move a little bit more than the snakes do. Uh, the bearded dragon stuff, they all move more than snakes do. Snakes are kind of more comfortable in tight spaces like that. But anyways, just waiting on that and then we'll bring them in here. Man, I, guys, I cannot tell you enough how excited I am to go on this journey and bring you guys along with me so that you guys can see everything. What do you, I know you're excited too, aren't you? We're gonna build you some type of outdoor aviary too, aren't we? Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Guys, there's gonna be so many things. I, I wanna, you know, goats, maybe a donkey. I heard you can own a capybara here in Texas and I would love to have a capybara. That would be awesome. But hopefully in the future, you know, monitor lizards, things like that. Get to build, we'll, I'll do some cage builds, I'll do some pen builds, some day in the life build, or builds, some day in the life videos, uh, just some everything. I'm gonna try to document everything. I'm really gonna get on the YouTube stuff. Now that I'm moved in, and once I get completely settled in, we're gonna be making videos, and they're gonna be so much fun. They're gonna be, just amazing, amazing, fun videos. And I cannot wait for you guys to see them. So I'm gonna stop rambling now, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the property and hearing about all the, the things that are to come. Even though I am in Texas now, I will always be a Cali boy. So don't you guys ever forget it. Cali, I did not forget about you. But if you are from the Houston, Texas area and you are a reptile keeper or you work with animals, hit me up. I need to make some friends and I would love to pick people's brains from the area to kind of learn the ins and outs of things and, and just how they take care of their animals down in here. So leave some comments down below and let me know what you guys think about moving across the country. Would you guys ever move to a different state? Let me know down below. Also, let me know what kind of videos that you guys wanna see in the next couple of weeks and I'll try to put those videos out there for you. This camera keeps dying. So much so that I have to sit here next to the outlet just to talk to you guys while it's plugged in because the battery dies so fast. I don't know, what's, what's making me upset? What's making you upset? Luckily, we're at the end of the video. So make sure you guys like this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, and please, please, please share this video. Until next time, everybody, for the first time coming at you live from Texas, 
My name is Pierce LaValle. This is Anzu. We are in Pierce's planet. And remember, it's all about the reps, baby. Peace.